Hello guys, and welcome to a new Drone Wars devlog. So, shortly after the last devlog, I realized that my lag compensation wasn't working at all. So, how the lag compensation was supposed to work was saving each player position on the server each tick, and then when a client fires a shot, take that player's ping, convert the ping from milliseconds to ticks per second, and then take the current server tick, minus the ping in ticks per second, and this way we get pretty much exactly the tick from when the client pressed the shoot button. And now we just set all player positions back to where they were at that tick, then we call the shoot method, and then we set all the player positions back to where they actually are. And this way each player can hit their opponents by aiming directly at their opponents regardless which ping they have. Unless of course they have like an extremely high ping. So to test if this feature was actually working I added some sort of aimbot that, that would make your camera point directly at your opponent all the time. And this was when I realized my lag compensation wasn't actually doing anything. So on my client it wasn't really noticeable because I had the server and client running on the same machine. So my ping was obviously pretty low. However, the person I was playing with uh, had a ping like around 100 and couldn't really hit me at all as long as I was moving. So after about a month of trying to figure this issue by looking at the code at the wrong parts, I finally figured out that I was trying to rewind the wrong object. So I then fixed that issue in less than 2 minutes, but yet I wasted a month on trying to figure out the issue. There were also a few other issues, but I fixed them qu pretty quickly and lag compensation is now fully working. I now also added bullet spread since I don't have to worry about testing lag compensation anymore. I also added a reloading animation and uh, sound effect and visual effect for the drone reloading and I added engine sound effects for the drone and footstep and jump sounds for the humans. I also added a UI indication for capturing command posts. A game mode info that you can toggle when pressing F1. And in the in-game menu I improved the options menu and added a respawn button. So if ever a player glitches under the map or gets stuck somewhere he can press respawn. And in general, for most of the in-game UI, I changed the default font to a much more sci-fi looking font, which just makes the whole in-game UI look a lot better already. But it will still be uh, reworked by our UI design officer Yoda at some point. But everything is pretty much fully functional. Another thing I did was improving the spawn point system. Humans now don't spawn in the air anymore, and it is now also a lot easier to add new spawn points. I also did a few smaller bug fixes, one of them was where the local player would stop predicting its position and thereby the movement would feel unresponsive and, and extremely choppy. I also fixed Discord rich presence, so people on Discord can now see which game mode you're playing or if you're in the menus. I also tried this with Steam rich presence, whatever I try Steam just doesn't want to show the game info. But at least I was able to make it possible so that you could invite and join other players through Steam. And Drone Wars 2.0 does now also track the stats that we had in the old version. Another thing I did was adding a server owner or server admin badge to the in-game scoreboard, which can be disabled by server owners. I also added some code for automatic server resets, so that the server can shut down and restart itself after a certain time period. The server will then check if there is a match going on, if there is it will wait until the end of the match, then disconnect all the clients and let them know that they can connect back in, in like 20 seconds which the clients then do automatically, the server then shuts itself down and starts itself again. At this point I think Drone Wars 2.0 is working pretty reliable and already way better than the current Steam version that I made like 2 years ago. So my plan is to release 2.0 towards the end of the month and replace the current Steam version with it. This way I can finally get rid of the old crappy Drone Wars 1 on Steam and I can get a lot of feedback for Drone Wars 2.0. And since there is so much more I want to add and improve in the game, there will be a lot and consistent content updates to the game, which is always a good thing. Okay, I think this was pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!